breaking news out of the 100 acre wood. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Disney is continuing to mine their animated classic vault, this time with Winnie the Pooh. The title is Christopher Robin, and the plot will center around a human boy from A.A. A. Milne's classic. In this version, Christopher is an adult who has left childish whimsy behind. A family man and a successful businessman, his life is turned upside down by the return of his childhood friend, Winnie the Pooh, who is looking for the rest of his animal pals. The film will be directed by Mark Forrester, whose last big budget offering was World War Z. With me to discuss all of the Pooh is Erica Ishii. Oh, bother. Okay, first question, biggest question, is this a good idea? No. Right. I'm sorry. I love Pooh Bear and the Hundred Acre Wood, but uh, honestly, I mean, even from a financial standpoint, I don't know if this is a good idea because, I mean, they're, the last Winnie the Pooh film that they put out killed the 2D animation department, right. uh, and they're just people. Not enough people want to see it, despite it being a very good film. It was really sweet, and it was a total throwback to the original. It was back in 2011. 2011. Yes, so, it was great. Well, not only does it seem like a terrible idea for that reason, but Mark Forrester, the dude who brought us Monsters, Monsters Ball, Ball and yes. arguably the worst of the Daniel Craig Bonds, Quantum of Solace. Quantum of Solace is not good. Quantum of Solace is not a good Bond movie. And this is the guy who did that one. I mean, we've got that. We've got Monsters Ball. He did do Finding Neverland. I'm sure. So sure. we understand that there is sort of an understanding because that's J.M. Barry who brought us Peter Pan. So there's still kind of a thing there. Right. Um, now, he's a fine director, but this <laughs> this film sounds like a, like a funny or die skit premise, you know, of like he finds his old friends from Hundred Acre Wood and he has to reconcile what it means to be an adult person. Uh, and it's something that we've seen played out quite a few times, um, unfortunately. So I, I really honestly am not... Looking forward to this. To, to be honest with you, a lot of the Disney live action recreations, I feel, haven't added anything substantive to to you know the the Disney oeuvre. Because yeah. really, when if you're gonna convert these beloved animated classics, you're gonna have to add something something that makes it worthwhile. And I don't feel that they really have. And if you're doing a live action, what happens? Does that mean that it's gonna be like the rapey revenant bear? Is it going to be a live action mixed with an animation thing? Like, are we gonna see something that's sort of Toontown-esque? How do you do that? My, my guess is it's going to be CG animation integrated into live action. I would love to see a uh, really beautiful 2D animation, mm -hmm. you know, Roger Rabbit style. That would be great. But uh, I honestly, I don't know if that would, hap would happen. Do you want to see like sort of a 2D animation situation? Because right now what I'm thinking about is 2D animation in World War Z. Brad Pitt is like running through zombies and then suddenly here comes Eeyore to be like, oh, zombies. I mean, this is, it seems like a very, very misguided effort. I, I'm not sure what they, I, I feel like th these are very strong choices. They got to have something in mind, right? Sure. Well, who would you cast? Okay, let's be positive. Who would you cast? Who's your Christopher Robin? How do you make this movie great? Oh, gosh. Um, so we need somebody who's older and, and can sell that, uh, you know, that return to childlike whimsy the way that, uh, the, the way that Robin Williams did in Hook. Sure. Uh, gosh. Mm, are we? Are we we're thinking British too? Well, so. I feel like I don't know because of the red hair. I always go Eddie Redmayne because Chris. I, 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 we, oh, we need even. Oh, we need a little older, older world weirder. Yeah, because like Eddie okay. Redmayne still got that like sort of childish whimsy. We just saw it in Fantastic sure. Beasts, uh, but uh, we need somebody that needs to earn it back. Someone like. I don't know, Colin Firth. That, interesting. I was thinking. Right. Well, why don't you guys tell us what you think? Let us know in the comments. Tweet at SJ News. Let us know who you think will make this movie something that you want to go see. And of course, you can always click here for more Screen Junkies news. Thanks so much for being with us.